Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of my YouTube channel. Today's video is called Holidays, COVID, and Our Mental Health. And I wanted to just take a time out and really just talk to you guys about, you know, 2020. I know I've done a lot of videos on COVID and mental health and our relationships and managing stress and grief. And I can't believe it's already November. You know, it's like, where has this year gone? And at the same time, it feels like this year has been fast and slow at the same time. Change, unexpected change, change that maybe we saw coming. In fact, even in Tampa Bay, um, as I'm taping this video, there is a potential tropical storm or hurricane coming in November, which is really abnormal, at least as long as I've lived in Florida. So, you know, I just wanted to kind of talk about that this year has been quite an interesting one, filled with so many mixed emotions. And now as we close out the year, we have the upcoming holidays. And even in my practice, I've been hearing about, you know, what's going to go on with the holidays, as well as in my own family, trying to plan out how we want to make sense of the holidays this year. So, you know, first I just, you know, I just want to say that uh, there's still a lot of grief in 2020, you know, and even though it's been, you know, we're coming to a close 2020 pretty soon, we're still grieving in my opinion. So, you know, let's talk about the holidays. Before COVID in 2020, typically the holidays are a time of excitement and also a time of sadness or unmet expectations or anxiety or stress. And, you know, we kind of have, I actually did a video called the dark side of the holidays because there are times when we have this vision or picture of what we think the holidays should be and then what they actually are. And the holidays also remind us of significant grief or loss. You know, there are some of us that have lost a loved one or have filed for divorce or gone through divorce. You know, there's just, sometimes in December, there's a lot of endings as well as it's the end of the year. So, you know, this is pre-COVID and now it's COVID. And, you know, and so we have this, I feel like a lot of people have been holding, holding out hope that the holidays would, you know, the holidays have been bringing us hope and maybe we have this sense of we're going to feel different around the holidays because this year has been so stressful. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know. What I do know is that we are planning, you know, this year there has, we're, in my opinion, as a, you know, mental health therapist, we are under a significant um, mental health crisis. You know, anxiety, depression, there's been an increase of suicide in this year because of COVID. And so I'm not having this discussion with you guys today because I want you to feel depressed. I just want you to be aware of what's going on and most importantly, how to take care of your mental health as well as how to plan for the holidays so we can honor the range of our emotions that we're feeling as well as have some hope in there and some magical moments that we know the holidays can bring us. So let's kind of talk about how we can manage our emotions and care for our mental health and also plan for what we want to do for the holidays this year. Typically holidays are filled with lots of holiday traditions from our family of origins or if we're creating new holidays with or new holiday traditions with our families. And why should this year be any different? So, you know, one of the things that I've done in my own family is we've tried to get really creative of how to make sense of things that have been taken from us. So, for example, my older son not being able to play football or, you know, my younger son, at least last year when school, we weren't able to go to school, you know, he really missed his friends. So we had to get creative of how to honor the grief that they've been feeling as well as, you know, find some new things that bring them joy. You know, with the holidays, it's the same. We're not going to be able to travel like we normally would on the holidays for Thanksgiving. 
And so what we already started doing, I know I've talked about it before, but this year we, we actually did it, is we started a gratitude jar. And, and we're going to do something special on Thanksgiving. And we're still kind of planning out what we want that to be. You know, just because we can't necessarily participate in our old holiday Thanksgiving traditions, it doesn't mean that we can't create some new ones. You know, new holiday traditions 2020 is what we're calling them. You know, so I think it's important to kind of just acknowledge that things are going to be different this year. And in that acknowledgement, it's also allowing yourself to grieve. You know, in your family, I don't want you just to, to yourself or your kids or your spouses to just say, it'll be fine, we'll just find some joy somewhere else. Don't dismiss or um, stuff your sadness. Acknowledge it. You know, acknowledge that maybe you're feeling sad or that there's some depression. Talk about it, journal about it, find a way to process it. Because when we hold on stuff or dismiss, it actually gets bigger. And we don't want that to happen. You know, um, as I've said in other videos, and I'm sure you've heard already, with COVID being around, just the stress of it, uh, if we were feeling anxious, a little bit of anxiety, now we're feeling a lot of anxiety. If we were feeling a little bit of uh, depression, now we're feeling a lot more. So, you know, um, don't stuff, talk through, process, journal, go for a walk, you know, find a way to process it and acknowledge your grief for sure. So creating some holiday, new holiday traditions. And again, you can call it whatever in our family we're calling it new holiday traditions 2020. And the other thing, you know, regarding your mental health, as I was saying, finding ways to acknowledge your grief. So start to check in with yourself. How am I feeling? What's going on? You know, um, am I feeling kind of the weight of the world on my shoulders? Am I feeling numb? Am I feeling um, overly anxious? You know, is it, am I feeling like maybe I can't cope? Am I not sleeping well? Am I eating more or not enough? You know, do a little check-in. How am I doing? As well as check in with your family members. You know, how, in, in the reason why we check in is it's also not only do we want to pay attention to what's going on with ourselves or our family but we also want to connect you know connection is key guys when we're able to connect with others it actually helps us feel better so you know finding ways to connect is important regarding how we're coping with our mental health and the holiday seasons you know maybe you've lost someone this year due to covid or due to another reason, whether it's suicide or a physical ailment. This is especially going to be important to connect with others. So identify, not only connect, identify who's your support network. And we do that because, one, I want to remind you, it's always okay to ask for help. It's always good to reach out. You know, we're not meant to kind of be on this world alone or on our own. And so asking for help, reaching out, processing your emotions, emotions, talking about your feelings, doesn't mean you're weak. It actually means you're strong and you're courageous. So being able to connect. The other thing I want you to think about is how do you, prior to the holidays, how do you manage your stress? You know, what have been some good coping mechanisms that you've put into place this year specifically? And I want you to do that, even maybe write it out or keep notes on your phone. So when you're under a stressful situation, you don't have to think about, oh my gosh, what can I do to help right in this moment? You've got it down. Another thing is deep breathing. You know, when we kind of breathe in through our nose, we expand our belly. And then when we breathe out, you know, we breathe out and we, I want you to kind of envision like your belly button's touching your spine. And there's lots of good techniques on how to do deep breathing that actually helps soothe and calm you. In one of our podcasts with uh, David Swindle, he talked about doing deep breathing and just kind of rubbing your arms down as a way to kind of help you de-escalate when you're feeling stressed, anxious, or even angry. So I think that's a, an important tool. Um, one of my favorite techniques is a meditation practice called Ziva and that's a really good way even if you just kind of look at how to do some of her mindfulness 
Mindfulness helps put you in the present moment. So this is another thing that is really important and it's being present in the here and now instead of focusing on the past or focusing on the future. When we're under a significant amount of stress or maybe we're, we're grieving or you know, we just feel like a lot of anxiety, we tend to focus on everything that's out of our control. And that's our fear talking and, and the more we pay attention to our fear and what's out of our control, then the more we get anxious or we want to disconnect or we want to hide and isolate. So it increases our anxiety or depression. So if we are able to pause, take a few deep breaths and put ourselves in the present. I'm here, I'm present, you know, and we do that because when we're able to focus on the present, it, it does help calm and, and then we can say, what's in my control? So if I'm noticing my anxiety is amping up and I'm focusing on what's in my control, stop, imagine a stop sign, take a deep breath and say, what's in my control? And then the last thing guys is creating a holiday plan and it kind of goes along with creating new holiday to traditions. A new holiday plan is just for the holidays, you know, what are some things, what are some different options? You know, please go to CDC or the World Health Organization and look at what are the safety guidelines in terms of, uh, you know, planning for the holidays as well as maybe um, your local health department, wherever you live but planning out some different options of, you know, what are some maybe new things we want to try if we're going to get together, how are we going to get together in a safe way? There are lots of ideas out there on how to do that. So I'll, I'll post some links in the comment section. So to kind of recap guys, holidays, COVID and mental health or our mental health, how do we care for ourselves? process our emotions, manage our stress and our mental health, as well as create space for creating new holiday traditions and finding those reasons to smile, joyful moments, and embracing this change that we're going to experience this year with the holidays. I want you to remember it is absolutely good and okay to, to ask for help. You know, let's say you're just kind of really finding that um, you're just really struggling, please reach out and contact a therapist if needed. So to recap, it is process your emotions and acknowledge all of your feelings. You know, you understand that you are going to be grieving a little bit this year during the holidays and that's okay. We've been grieving all year. Creating new holiday traditions. You know, what are some things that you want to try or that you want to do differently? Get creative. How do you care and manage for your stress? You know, what have you been doing this year specifically that has been really helpful? What are some things, uh, so managing your stress, taking deep breaths, putting yourself in the present moment, focusing on what's in your control. Also creating a new holiday or a holiday plan based on some safety guidelines from your local health organization as well as the CDC site. And I forgot to say, check in with yourself, check in with others. Most importantly, connection is key. And don't be afraid to identify who your support network is, as well as know that if needed, therapists, we're all out there and we are here to help you guys through this process too. All right guys, thanks for listening to my YouTube video today. Please feel free to share. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly updates all about relationships and mental health. Most importantly, have a beautiful day.